Welcome to another video. Walk on the wild side and I'm here in Blackpool. It's early morning, it's about seven o'clock and I'm currently in Talbot Square. In fact, I've been out early this morning. I was taking a photograph of the moon, the almost full moon as it's set over the Irish Sea. Check out these pictures here. Didn't quite get it touching the horizon. That's what I wanted it to do. I wanted it to touch the horizon, but that's a really difficult shot to get because it often goes into cloud. I'll tell you what, it's a bit nippy this morning. It's a good job I'm wearing this hat that John from South Shore gave me. Anyway, it's a Tory party conference in Blackpool this weekend. I think it starts tomorrow, Friday. So I thought we'd take a look around the town while I'm here and see if we can see any sign. Security, there's police all over the place, that sort of thing. And I've actually got an exclusive for you already right here in Talbot Square. Check this out. Okay, so I am here by the mermaid. Some people say she isn't really a mermaid because she, uh, she's got feet. But anyway, this is the exclusive. Check this out. Talbot Square here, the promenade. This is where the tram tracks are going to come from the promenade and meet up with North Station going up Talbot Road. And look at this, it's open. Talbot Road is now open. You can now come They've taken all these concrete bollards out of the way. Can you see? Sorry if the sun's a bit bright up there, but can you see there? All those concrete bollards there have been moved. And you can now drive up along the tram tracks up Talbot Road. Yeah? So there you go. I'll tell you what, 7 o'clock in the morning, and look at all those buses down there, Market Street. That's the main street here in Blackpool for buses. Just look at all them. Wow. Okay, check out these ballards here that have been moved. And we've also got these tram benches here, which are really, really good. If you come to Talbot Square, come and see those, come and sit on those if you want. But there's a town hall over there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way towards St John Square. We'll have a look around that area because the, the conference is taking place at the Winter Gardens, the all new conference centre at the Winter Gardens. It's going to be the first event there. So let's go and have a look around there, shall we? I'll show you what we can see on the way. Just looking back towards North Pier there, I just thought I'd show you another angle on those tram tracks on the road, which is now open all the way up here. This section here where I'm stood now is all closed off. It's been closed off for about, I don't know, a couple of years. Anyway, I'm going to head up this way. Clifton Street towards Abingdon Street. And then we'll check out what's going on around the... Uh, Winter Gardens. It's looking pretty dark because we've got the sun coming up over there and it? it's very, very bright sky over there, so it tends to be very contrasty. Yeah, so this is Clifton Street. I remember there was a camera shop up here, it's called Abbey Photographic. Yeah, I used to go there all the time. I'm just walking past the Premier Inn, which is on the site of the Yates's Wine Lodge and the Tivoli Cinema, if anyone remembers the Tivoli Cinema, and Pet Shop as well. Very famous, uh, is it a parrot they had in there? A talking parrot that they had in the Tivoli Pet Shop. There was a little arcade that used to go through from this side to Talbot Road, if anyone can remember. Buses, buses, buses. Anyway, I'm now on Abingdon Street, just across the road from the the old post office there, look, road closed. Check this out there. Yeah. yeah. This is where they've got all those red phone boxes. I think they're protected by the way, these phone boxes. But yeah, look at this now. We're looking towards the winter gardens now. And as you can see, they've closed off all this road here now. You can normally drive through here, but only it's only allowed for taxis and buses. Sort of part pedestrianised, yeah. And you have to have your hazards on as well when you come through this section. So we're looking towards the Winter Gardens now and it's just had opened. The new conference centre has opened. Multi-million pound conference centre. Yeah. And this conference is the first event to take part there. How about that? Yep, I just want to show you. Oh, we've got some police outside. Lots of police around. I just want to show you down here, they block Burley Street as well. This is the art display, Brilliance. That's the one that lights up at night. So there you go. That's blocked off. Oh, I've got police everywhere here. Yeah. 
outside the winter gardens. It's early in the morning. I don't know if this um, conference starts today or it starts tomorrow Friday, but the police have been going around town. They've been sealing up manholes and things like that. I've seen them over the last couple of days. So that's what's been going on. So this is St John's Square and this is where the Christmas markets were. I don't think they were a success, the, the Christmas markets that were in St John's Square. This is Cedar Square and this kind of blends into St John's Square. I'll just pan round to show you. Yeah, there's loads of police all round there. I don't want to get too close actually. So. So there you go, there look the winter gardens there. And now we can see the tower there. I'll tell you what, the seagulls are noisy at this time in the morning. Anyway, I'm now on Alfred Street. Just had to look that up actually. Around the back of the winter gardens. And just here now, you can see this new conference center there. So there's the old bit on the left there. And that's the old new bit there. You can see the tower poking up across the top there. Doesn't it look awesome? Yeah, and Boris Johnson was here last month to check the place out. I missed him on that occasion. I wonder if I'll get in this time. They've actually closed off Leopold Road. That's the road that runs around the back of the, uh, the Winter Gardens. You might be able to see there that they've got a barrier there going across that. To, yeah, that's going to be the... Uh, I think that's going to be the main way in for them. So I'm going to head down Church Street now, around the other side. And we'll see what it's like around the other side, shall we? Yeah, it's nice and quiet in town today, apart from the seagulls. Just going past the back entrance there, or the stage door, should I say. That's all closed off, of course. I don't know what's going on here, but this has been all sort of sealed off for a while. Outside Blackpool Bargains. Anyway, let's go down here, shall we? Coronation Street. Don't think we can go down there, look. We can't go down Coronation Street. Look. We're not allowed. We're not allowed to go down there. It's all blocked off, look at this. Yep. No chance to get down Coronation Street. Look at this, they've got barriers in place. Yeah, there you go. That's the grand entrance there. Yeah, that's the grand entrance to the Winter Gardens right there. Yeah, there's no way down here. Okay, so I'm now outside the Grand Theatre and this little road here leads through to Victoria Street which leads right up to that entrance of the Winter Garden. Let's take a look up there, shall we? Okay, so here we are now on Victoria Street looking up towards that grand entrance of the Winter Gardens and we can't get any further because they've got barriers up. Look at this. Yeah. There's loads of police outside that... Uh, entrance there as well so this is about as far as we can get and it's going to be the Tory party conference this weekend it's going to be madness isn't it when the during the day when it's all on so there you go that's the way it looks here quite a bit of work going on you know there's people putting up a sign there and people window cleaning all sorts of stuff it's actually quite a nice morning and check out the tower look it's looking like a really nice day today so there you go okay so here's the tower and it's lit up on this side because the sun rose about an hour ago and that looks amazing doesn't it so we're on bank a street and i just want to show you something just down here i've mentioned these before these nuclear bomb proof plant pots look at these they don't get much more nuclear bomb proof than these look they're completely filled with cement <laughs> look at that all of them 
they could use these as barriers, couldn't they? Look at this. They're all completely filled up with concrete. So, anyway, we're going to walk around here and I want to show you something just down here on Albert Road. Yeah, something interesting on Albert Road. Let's go and check it out, shall we? We've got a really noisy street sleeper. Anyway, check out this view of the Woolworths building here and the tower. Doesn't look amazing. The scaffolding's coming off. Yeah. So that scaffolding is coming off there. But just over here, we've got the new Sands venue. And uh, this is where work has been held up. As you can see here, look at this. Yeah, there's not been anything happening here for a while. I wonder when this place is going to open. It doesn't look like it's going to be anytime soon. Anyway, Albert Road is just up here. Check this out. This is the Edith Centre on the corner of Bankhead Street and Albert Road here in Blackpool. Often overlooked this building, you know, really nice art, art deco, isn't it? Just look at that, isn't it amazing? Um, I think it's grade two listed, by the way. And this has got the McDonald's in it. This McDonald's, I think it was the first one in Blackpool, this one. Yeah, so the Edith building, often overlooked. Anyway, just up here, there's a new job center going in here and it's a bit controversial. It's going in the old Argos store. Let's go and have a look, shall we? So this is Albert Road. We're looking back towards the Edith centre there. And this was Poundland. It's not, not anymore by the look of it. But next to Poundland used to be Argos. And this is it here. This was where the Argos store was. And now it's been turned into a job centre plus. Look at that. And some people don't like it. They're kicking off. They reckon it's too close to uh, visitors. So there you go. A job centre plus right here. Yeah, it does seem a bit weird because they had a purpose-built job centre here in the town. It was just opposite the library and that's been closed for years. So I don't really know why they closed that. And now they've had to open this one. And this, of course, was the Debenham store. And they closed down everywhere, didn't they? Debenham's closed down altogether. Anyway, this meets up with Coronation Street here. And we can get another angle on the Winter Gardens, just up here. Yeah, a load of police in that van there. <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, there's been uh, a road closure up here for a while, actually. They've had traffic measures in. Yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare. You want to try and avoid the town centre if you, if you can. Avoid driving in Blackpool town centre, because it's a bit of a nightmare. There's a lot of work going on up here. They're building the new cinema and Wilco store. That's what they're doing just up here, straight ahead, opposite the Winter Gardens, a new cinema and Wilco store. Yeah, it's all happening here in Blackpool, especially this weekend with this conference. Okay, we are now on the southwest corner of the Winter Gardens. I think this is the horseshoe bit. And this is where the giant wheel used to be here in Blackpool. It's about 250 feet. It's half the size of Blackpool Tower. And it used to compete with the tower. Anyway, as you can see, it's buzzing with police all around here. Look at this. Yeah. They're not going to miss a thing, are they? Okay, so I'm now on Albert Road and we're looking down towards where I was before, towards the centre of town and the McDonald's and all that down there. Anyway, I want to just show you down here. It's the last section of the Winter Garden or something I want to show you. And this is Leopold Grove. Let's have a look down here, shall we? In fact, I've got a bit of a gruesome tale to tell about this street, something that happened back in the 1930s. There was an air show in Blackpool. There wasn't many planes around at that time either. But there was a couple of sisters that lived here, and they must have been rich, to commandeer a plane so that they could take a closer look at this air show. I think it was Cobham's, Cobham's Air Circus. And unfortunately, the pilot of their plane got too close and ended up colliding with one of the performing planes. And one of the sisters, they, they, they crashed, the plane crashed, but one of the sisters was ejected and landed in a tree, naked. 
Must have been pretty grim. But that happened down here. Could have been one of these trees, couldn't it? What do you think? And there is a tale that the flying handbag in town is named after the handbag of one of the sisters that landed in that area of town. Is it true? Could be. Anyway, we're just coming up to this corner now. And uh, yeah, this is another major entrance of the Winter Gardens. And as you can see, it's surrounded by... There you go. It's all happening. Yeah, and we've got this car park here. Got some police vehicles in here as well. So there you are. Yeah, it's looking like a nice day today. But there you go, that's it. From Blackpool's, the preparations for the Tory party conference here at the Winter Gardens and the new conference centre, which is right over there. Doesn't it look smart? Hey, I tell you what, that sun shines bright now. Anyway, that was Blackpool early morning between seven o'clock and eight o'clock. Joining the preparations for the Tory party conference, which is taking place at the all new Winter Gardens Conference Centre. Yeah, so I thought I'd show you around and show you what's going on and bring you all of the action. I might come back here later on and we might even see someone. What do you reckon? I'll do another video later on when it's really, really busy. We'll see, shall we? Anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I will see you again on the next one.